So welcome to Authentic Sicily. I'm Chef Joe Simonera. I'm Vincent Buter. And for the next 13 days, we're going to be exploring Sicily, a place that thousands and thousands of people have enjoyed throughout the world for great food, great history, and, and great ingredients. Joe, this is real exciting because we've been all over Sicily, but now we're going into the homes of three women in Sicily, most of whom have never taken a cooking course, and we're going to learn how they cook simple Sicilian dishes handed down from their mothers and their grandmothers and so on and so forth. <laughs> well, Vince, you can't go wrong with three Sicilian women in the kitchen. I'm sure the food will be fabulous. See, the thing that's interesting about this is, is every town has a different recipe for the same dish and that's what we're gonna see how many different ways some of these dishes are made and they're all spectacular exactly we're gonna learn how to make Sicilian style pizza with an ex pizzeria owner from Brooklyn and you know uh, you, you know Rita from Ragusa she owns a sure. food processing plant uh, and she's gonna show us how she creates incredible gourmet products that are exported all over the world Wow I'm really looking forward to it we are in the town of Raguza. Yeah, and it, well said, Vince. Thank you. Getting a Thank lot you. better. I'm from out of town, and we're at a, a factory called Antice Conserve de Sicilia, and they make jarred products. Uh, Anything like from these. pestos to caponadas and stuff like that. They even make the famous Norma sauce here. Wow, that's fantastic. We're going to go in. We're going to meet Rita, the owner, and she's going to show us a bit about what she has. Let's so, go. Well, let's go. Excellent. Rita, how are you? Vincenzo. Rita. Nice to see you. Ciao, piacere, Ciao. sono Giuseppe. <laughs> what do wow. you got here? Ti volevo far assaggiare alcuni cavalli di battaglia della nostra azienda. Cominciamo con l'antipasto. Crema di antipasto. carciofi. This one's a cream of artichoke. Cream, cream of, of artichoke. All my favorite. I love it. Okay, Prego. I'll take this. Thank Prego. you. Cream of artichoke. Giuseppe, assaggia. Grazie, grazie. Mm. Wow. La Crema di pomodoro. This is a cream of tomatoes. Prego. Sun-dried tomatoes. Very good. Il sugo alla norma. Oh, this was the sauce that you were talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, this is the sauce. I Pesanzio. think we're going to get an opportunity to uh, see how this is made later. This is a specialty uh, from uh, Palermo, from what I understand. Absolutely. Now, this, uh, this sauce has eggplant in it. Saggia questa con la melanzana. Grazie, grazie. Con la melanzana. Cosa questa? Black olive. Uh, this is a, a salsa from the Aeolia region in Sicily, uh, which, and this is actually a very popular uh, sauce as well, a very popular salsa. That's an island, the Aeolian islands? That's correct. Oh, okay, I knew Salsa it. di pomodoro. I'm really and learning my way around here. capers in events, I'm impressed. <laughs> got, got a lot of capers in there and stuff like that. You love capers. Yeah, I see. You like the caper cake. So this is great, Rita. Thank you very much. Let me just take a quick peek at the other stuff. We're not going to open these, but this is a, an eggplant. We're going to see how this is made. You see how right? that's made, exactly. And then, uh, what are these? Cipollini. Well, the small onions. onions. <laughs> small onions, wow. Beautiful product. Yeah, yeah. Well, fantastic. Vince, you know, I think we need a couple of hats, and then once we get the little hat, we'll go over and uh, check out the cherry tomatoes as they're packaged and stored. This is going to be exciting. You to show us everything, Let's right? Let's do it. Let's go. So, what is it? Questo è un pomodorino tipicamente siciliano e in particolare delle nostre zone. Un pomodorino come potete constatare molto fresco, molto rosso. So this is a this is a tomato that's uh, indigenous Questo... to this particular region. They're very fresh, as you can see the color is perfect. So they sit a little while, uh, usually a few days they drain and then it's put in this container. Is this uh, olio di oliva or, or, or olio? E questo in olio di semi, quello in boccia in olio extravergine di oliva. Dipende dalle so it depends on what oil. In this case, we're using just a straight oil to preserve it. So they mix it in, it preserves it. These are dried for 24 hours, they, they said. 24 hours. Okay, so now we have mushrooms. One of Vince's favorite. <laughs> he's, he's a mushroom guy on this stuff on pizza. So they're, so they're left in a combination of salt and water, and that's kind of like the curing method, Vince. If you take one of these and kind of taste it, you'll... 
Do they sit here in salt water? They cure, yes. and then and what you, what's going that on? It goes here? right in here with oil, where it's you know more of like a preservative. Yeah, yeah, this is a, this is the type of oil that's that's perfect for this type of thing. As you can see, we have uh, parsley on here, chopped parsley. Parsley. But we also have crushed red pepper. I know what this is. You know. Man. I know what this is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> no, this is this is this is eggplant. Eggplant. Right with. Uh, Peppers. Peppers. They Thank call you. it uh, filetto de eggplant. Filetto di melanzana. Filetto di melanzana. So pretty much the same process with a little bit of fresh oregano, fresca oregano. Si, si. Right? Si. Fresh oregano. Si. Salt and water? Salt and water. Salt, salt water, water fresh si. oregano, and that's it. That's it. Taste it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know, before we go over to the bottling method, take a look at all those eggplants. What do you see when you go over there? You know, great product, I should add, Vince. You can smell it. It's got a great smell. Texture's perfect. Color looks great. Take it from here. It goes into the automatic chopper there. So it chops up the eggplant. Chops it up. Puts it in this skillet right here where we cook it, where they cook it in big batches. Okay. And then they put it uh, in the jar. They, they the fry it. Product. Don't they fry it also? They fry it. And then you have the finished product here, which see. is the nona sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you, grazie. Wow. Give me the big yeah. spoon. Yeah, Vince, Give me the big unbelievable. spoon. Unbelievable. Cheers. This is something I've always been fascinated with. Is I thought these were done, I didn't, done by machine or whatever, but putting the product in here to make these beautiful designs. Absolutely. It's very difficult to do. Basically everything you see here from the onions to the olives to the artichokes to the peppers are all put in there in a, in a design. Rita, thank you so much. This thank has you been so amazing. Much. Ciao. Grazie. 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 Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Well, on to the next adventure. Let's go. <laughs> it's all about home cooking. Authentic home cooking. We've seen some great chefs. Uh, we've seen some great foods being prepared, but today we're going home to Gary's home, which is uh, out here in Castellamad. And Gary, you actually spent time here during the summers, right? We spent uh, quite a few summers right across the street there. It was my great aunt's house. We saw this piece of land. It was barren. We said, hey, my father knew that we loved coming here. The beach is just a kilometer down the road. And uh, my father bought it and built uh, his, his summer Smart home. Guy. <laughs> and here it is. Here we are. All right, so we're, gonna, we're here. We're going to meet your mom. We're going to meet a couple other ladies. Yep. So, Gary, what are we going to be eating here? Or seeing prepared, actually? Well, should we leave it as a surprise or should I tell you everything? No, we got a little sneak All preview, right. just a little. <laughs> Very good. Well, we're going to make some homemade pasta, macaroni. Okay. And uh, with pasta, it's sardin finocchi, the sardines and the fennel. And um, some caponata, some sausage. And then we'll go out in the field, we'll pick some fruit. Wow. For dessert. How's that sound? I love that. Yeah. Okay, let's, well, do let's it. go meet your mom. Okay. Very good. All right. So, Vin, here we are. Here's my mom. This is Maria. Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to see you. Now, I, I had thought that you had gone through you know, all kinds of casting, managers, and all this stuff for this home cooked meal here. We had all kinds of problems. It's your mother. This is <laughs> it's my mother after all, right? It's yes, fantastic. Right. What better home cook is there than mom? So, mom's going to be making a few great dishes for us. That's right. And uh, well, she's going to be preparing, I think, uh, initially showing us how we make pasta, right, with some That's of her right. friends? Yes. So, we're going to go upstairs and see that. Uh, all right, well, let's go do that. But before, you have to work for your supper. Why? So you're gonna have to pick a couple of plums for uh, I dessert. love that. Right? The plums right. here are unbelievable. Here all right, yeah. so let's go grab a plum and go upstairs and see the pasta. This is uh, Leonardo. Leonardo. And Rosa. Rosa. From Brooklyn as well. They're Sicilian, they're from here, from the hometown. From Brooklyn, Castella Sicily. Mare. From Brooklyn, Sicily, you know. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of them here. Perfect. They made the pasta just as you normally would make any kind of dough in a well with some water, cosa okay. c'è farina, salt. acqua, salt, uh, e basta, right? Just three yeah. ingredients. You get the finest um, uh, flour. Uh -huh. A little salt, sea salt, and a little bit of water, and you're done. That's it. That those are all the ingredients that are in here. As it takes. So the, the there's no real recipe for it. You just okay. <laughs> as much as the 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 um, the dough, the 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 wheat, the flour uh, absorbs. Okay, so we're actually rolling the noodle now. So watch. They they break out off a little piece. And you'll think it's done, but it's not. They, they take the reed and actually place it at the center. Oh my God. 
and they keep rolling it out until boom, it's done. So and that's it, it rolled right around here. This is all hollow inside. It's like a, it's like a bucatini. There's actually a, a, a very fine hole in the center of the pasta. Back and forth. There you go, both hands. Try to stretch it out for both hands. There you go, there you go. Kind of so, there you Ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen, you were saying. That's the concept. History. You can make a big. career out of this, Vin. I could, if all else fails. I could make roll pasta like this. There we go. That's there you go. Bad, See, huh? not bad. That's not bad. And then you have to oh, pull it off. So that's that's the secret. She's a lot like my grandmother. She's bossing me around everywhere now. Great. So we have we have a, a whole basket full that you did earlier. That's right. Okay. Okay. Right. Rosa, you want to show us what you got? Rosa. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, look at this. Isn't that that's beautiful? A beautiful presentation too. No, no. Wow. Okay, we'll go take a look at what Gary's mom is preparing, and uh, let the ladies continue to make the pasta. This is incredible. Okay, we're, we're in the kitchen, and I understand uh, your mom is gonna be preparing uh, the sardines and a few other ingredients, and fi thank you for allowing me in the kitchen. I know that this is, a, this is a rare treat. Your, your mom's a fantastic cook, I understand. She's the best. Okay. <laughs> That's all I could say. I try my best. She tries her best. Well, spoil. you look beautiful, and I wanna see what, you. uh, what you're gonna do here. Okay, those are the sardines, fresh sardines. Fresh sardines. No right? frozen. Yeah, Just don't think about sardines like in a can. We're no talking about way. the ones no right way. out of the sea. They're big. Okay. They're bigger than you think. Yes. The cut the tail. Okay. Then you cut the, the head. Ooh. A little squeamish there? No, not me. Not <laughs> okay. Me. Open in the middle. You have to gut it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Open. Just take it off the, the gut. guts. Like this. Try to pull out the, the bones. The, the bones. Okay. That comes right. When the sardine is fresh, it comes nice. See? Like this. Okay. okay. But I have a little, a little bit problem in New York to take it off of the skin. <laughs> the sardines, where do they come from? What's, what's the best place to catch them here in Sicily? Uh, in Sicily, over here, Mediterranean. Right, right, right outside. Right Just out here in Castellamo. One kilometer down the beach and you can drop mm -hmm. a net and find them. Then wow. you turn over and you start to pull out the skin. Okay. When the sardine is nice and fresh, the skin comes straight out right away. Okay, so the sardines are going in with the onions. The onions Correct. are sauteing in uh, in olive oil. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm really picking up on this stuff. You're, <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, you're gonna be making this after today. I'm impressed. Uh, all right, so uh, then they mix in here. Do they saute for how long? I'll show you, Bob. Five minutes. Five minutes. The, the, they are very easy to cook because you see, right away. So now she's, you're, you said you're mushing, but you're yeah. sort of just mixing it in. Yes, mix okay. it in. Mush is not a technical Sicilian <laughs> term, it's just something it's that can be spontaneous. The raisin. Raisins are currants. Raisins are currants, and the then pine nuts? Pine, the pine nuts. Pine nuts. Those the are pine nuts are grown all around here. Yes, they are. Okay, well, Okay. so it's in the pot for five minutes, and then, then what else goes on? Um, I think that's it, right, Mom? That's Anything it. Anything else? So we actually have the finished product. Mom, I'll show Mama, you the finished product. Mom, do the unveiling here. Yes. The unveiling. This is your, your work of art. I'll help you with this thing. Okay. There you go. At the end, that's what you have. You look beautiful. So yeah. it, it as it cooks here, it it it, it gets. Uh, does it get the tomato juice. paste in here? The, it, no, yeah. this is a fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes, not tomato paste. No tomato I'm paste. Sorry. <laughs> from the garden. Sorry, from the garden. <laughs> okay. And um, I got to be careful with this room. So it gets a little darker color. Yeah, because like, they are a little bit more tomatoes. A little bit more tomatoes. And more fish in okay. there, and a little bit racing more because. It, this is a but you know what's crazy? Less. What you can see is all the ingredients that come together. You yes. can see the fish, you can see you the raisins, see the, see the pine nuts, the tomatoes. So, okay. bring, so bring me all the way home now. We saw the pasta being made. I know the pasta is going to be cooked, mm -hmm. and then this is going see, on top of the pasta, that's right. and yeah. the breadcrumbs going on top of that's the right. sauce, and that's our dish. And then we take a nap. And then we take nice and, <laughs> and <laughs> heavy for when, us. When does the wine want, come in? Oh, after. absolutely. After. Okay. If you want to taste, just to give it a taste. Yeah, sure. Taste there. I'll taste. That is so tasty. It's incredibly tasty. Isn't it? You know, I've never had sardines much. You know, maybe, I, I can't remember the last time I had sardines, so I wasn't sure if I like them or not. This is incredibly tasty. It's an amazing what combination and this ex explosion of flavors in your mouth. Right? Yeah, it kind right. of tastes a little bit of everything. This All right. is a tradition for, we do in March, St. Joseph's Day. Okay. March 19th. March 19th. So you're going to make us your cabanata, which Gary says is the best in Sicily. And now you, you have to say that? I have to, and I do. I say it with all my heart. Okay, so we're going to do that next. So folks, stay with us. 
Okay, Gary, the pressure's on. Yep. We're in the kitchen with your mom. She's making her famous cabanata. It's the best. Which we've had about 15 different times as we've toured Sicily. <laughs> 15 different recipes, I think. But what's going on here? I see okay. uh, we've got a mixture already in the in the, here yes. sauteing. So I, uh, I cut the, I chopped the onions. Okay, so we got chopped onions in there. Yeah, very, very fine. Okay. And put it, and put it together with the olive, okay. green olive. And you cut the olives in half? I cut the in half. Or if they're bigger, because sometimes they're a bigger one, you cut them four pieces. As soon as you cut the eggplant, you soak in salt water and at least two hours. Okay, wow. Then you drain it very well. And, and what that does, it, it helps... Um, helps to take it off the, the, uh, the bitterness of uh, the eggplant. Takes a little of the, the edge off, that's right. Yes. Okay, that's right. Water and salt. I know that. You drain it very well. Don't worry about me. And... Uh, you started then to chop the celery. Okay. And we have uh, tomato sauce, right. fresh tomatoes, cut in pieces, put in a blender just to chop, and put it all to everything. You pour that all in there? I'll put it there. Okay. This is so thick. Ah, that's a nice sauce. See, you, somebody asking me how they come so thick, look. Wow. This is the natural pulp. All right, it's, so here come the eggplant. That's gonna, all been chopped. So this is already, so this is already this um, is drained. This is already drained very well, and you can put it all together. So you want to fry them up. They're, so they're cut up in cubes. So you don't put anything on the eggplant other than what we talked about, right? Salt. Little salt, and, and they drain. And, and that's it. Yeah, and they you just drain, fry right You up. dry it very well, and uh, you just put it in a fry pan. If you are really not hungry, you can put the cover on the top. Okay. Just to... to Make it a little bit soft. Okay, great. All right. So I'm gonna stir this while you're doing that. Yes. I'm helping out. Sure, no I'm charge. Best I can. We got the eggplant is all uh, sauteed. Sauteed, mm -hmm. that's the right word. And then the sauce here, which is gonna be mixed into it, looks fantastic. And we were saying, you just put some bowl of pasta, throw that sauce on top. Uh, it was like your mother said to put a little white wine in it. That'll, if you're gonna do it a little sauce. kick, gives it a little yeah. kick. Okay, so pour that in. Everything mixes in. Stir it up. This looks fantastic. Hey, the eggplant wow. is just uh, so moist, you know? Is there anything else that goes in here while we're stirring it, or is this is, uh, Nothing. This no. is it, just stir oh, it and, and put the top on? I think there's a few things missing still. Well, at the end. At the very uh, end. To finish, we need another two things. You still need the sweet uh, and sour He's your son, I'm not saying anything. I thought you were done. No, yeah, no, so I am I'm, not. I'm just following the lead here. She, no, no. Know, she holds back. There's a couple of secrets to, okay. the, to the recipe. No. Uh, That's a homemade vinegar. Homemade vinegar. Check, please. Woo! Vinegar is right. All right. Sugar. Pile Sugar. Now, there are different recipes. We say there's five million people in Sicily, five million recipes, quite possibly for right, caponata. Right. Um, some people make it sweeter than others. Some people make it a little more sour than others. My mother tends to put a little less sugar in hers. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the finished product over here. Okay, it's right here. It's okay, it's over here. Okay. Excellent. Oh, wow. You gotta taste it. Oh, oh, she's got it. Mix it up. Mix it up. And it, this is at room temperature now, room right? Room temperature, yes. It's ready to eat. Okay. So again, I'm gonna put this on some bread. Uh, you can put it on bread. You can use it as a side dish. Uh huh. Um, you can just use it as an appetizer by itself. That's great. You're not getting okay. any right now. Don't worry. She's got a whole batch stored for me. No, really. You can uh, hang out, and I'm just gonna <laughs> have a little more. And is that it? We're done. If you don't like it. Right. You're throwing the garbage and start all over again. What? I would never no, do that. I'm just I would kidding. never do that. I'm just kidding. Mama, molto, molto grazie, right? That's Ma many thanks. Grazie. grazie. It was grazie. my pleasure. Oh, we had a great time I love at your to home. Cook. Thank thanks you. for having us here. Thanks. I had a great time. We ate and saw and conquered. Now, we're going to see the pasta out here. Yes. We will. With everything finished? That's right. Okay, well, let's take a look at that. That sounds good. Okay. Excelente. Can I help you with anything here? No, thank you. Take out the, bring out the caponata. Gary, this has been a great day. We've seen so many homemade dishes and we're about to see how homemade pizza is made 
Sicilian style or Castellabad style? Well, we call we don't really call it Sicilian style in Sicily. We call it Sfincione. Sfincione. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here with Pepino, Pino. Pepino or Joe? Si, si. Pino. Ah. No? Joe Pino. in America. It's Sam. Joe in America, Pino. Joe and Pino and and Castellabad. Okay, okay. So Pino's our, our pizza chef today. We're in his home, which is fantastic because this, mm -hmm. this isn't a pizzeria. This isn't a restaurant. This is how they make it really in the homes. Okay, so Pino, I have a question for you. First off, look at this pie. Pizza is a, this is very light, very, very light. light. Yes. What what's in the dough? How do you prepare the dough? The dough we make it with uh, with flour. We make it with olive uh, oil. What's it called? Olive oil. Yeast. A little bit of yeast. yeast. Mm -hmm. Some water, I think. Water. Uh -huh. Water and salt. And, oh, and that's it. Keep that's talking. It. I'm going to keep eating. The simplest of ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, Pino, your your home is beautiful. All the pizza is fantastic. But you've built a pizza oven here in your home. And that's how you make the pizza. Yeah, right. Okay, that's so it right You here. want to show us your oven? Yeah. yeah. This is the oven they call a mechanic oven oh, because wow. you have the fire is underneath. Uh huh. And then on the, on, on the top we put the. No. So it comes up, it heats up with those bricks. Yeah. Stones or the bricks? What kind of those stones? It's, it's a stone. No, um, no, a brick. You no. Know, um, okay. All right, and all these ingredients I see here, these are all kinds of things that you put on the yep. pizza and mix it with. You've got uh, the sauce over here. Look at, but look at the texture of that sauce, the, the chunks nice of tomatoes in that sauce. Mm -hmm. And what are those? What is that? Uh, basil. Basil. Okay, and then we have the Sicilian favorite, the eggplant. Eggplant. So how did you prepare the eggplant? I see a little the olive plain, oil. It's, no, this is it's, it's a fry with the oil. Oh, is this the cheese that you put This is there? the cheese, yes. And this is... This, uh, pecorino. 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 Oh, this okay. pecorino, yes. Taste it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? Nice and sharp? It is sharp. What do we have here, Gary? Looks like uh, salami. Salsiccia Castella Marese. It's a local um, mm. sausage salami. Like that, yeah. No tipo de si, si. salami. Si, it's laid on. Okay. Si, si. All great local ingredients again. And of course, Very simple. Uh, oh, the olives. The olives, of course. Mm. Can't si, forget si. the olives. Gary, this has been a great day. It's been a real treat for me. Be, first of all, being at your mom's house. Thank you so much for setting that up. Absolutely. The food was, we've eaten in restaurants all over Sicily and had some similar dishes. <laughs> These were the best. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, we had uh, we had some uh, pasta dish with the uh, sardines and the breadcrumb. We had cabanata. It was fantastic. Uh, we want to thank everybody for joining us here at Authentic Sicily. It's been a fantastic day. And hopefully you get a chance to come to Sicily and try all of these great treats. And if you come here, look up Pino. He'll make you a nice, beautiful pizza here at the house, okay? So if you're looking for authentic food, look no further than Authentic Sicily. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mangiare. Mm. I shoot you, you shoot me. I shoot you, shooting me. Me shooting you, shooting me, shooting you. Moretti. Moretti. Who's the target? La Pietra for Italian.